In today's video, we're going to go over how to change the columns in the Add Products page. So when you're on an opportunity and you want to add products, so we'll just go to Add Products. This is the columns that we want to change here within this Add Products. So how do we go about changing what is displayed in these columns? So what you'll want to do is you'll want to go to the cogwheel over here to set up. And then you're going to go and you're going to go to Object Manager, type in Price Book Entry is the object we want to go to. And then we're going to adjust the search layout. So you can see we've got a bunch of different ones, but we're going to adjust the, the default uh, layout. Because those other ones copy the default layer, layout. And then here we can add any of the other information that we want. We can rearrange these. So let's say our, my product information, my product family is more important, or I want to add in whether or not it's an active in the price book, or if it's an active product, or the product SKU. Some of these fields we don't have filled out, so there won't be any information. And then we're going to click save. So now if I was to go back and we were to refresh this page and just go in to add products. Add products, you'll see the new fields right here. So if you go, you'll see the product code. We've switched the product family, we've added our active. So those are the new columns that will appear. Uh, typically, most people would think, oh, I need to go to the products object. But no, it's the price book entry object in order to change the view of what you see there. So that's it for today. So hopefully you've liked this video. So please like and subscribe. Thanks.